Miss World has let us down once again. I was anticipating to be watching Miss World in May of this year, but unfortunately they have postponed. I would say that I'm surprised, but I'm honestly not. Miss World is just not happening a lot. I don't know where they get the money to keep postponing things, to be honest with you, but yeah. So the next pageant on the list on the calendar is Miss Supranational. And I'm honestly quite sad because I'm not ready to see La Lela go. I mean, it feels like her reign has gone by like this. Nevertheless, the show must go on. And in this video, I am going to talk about my top 10 early favorites for Miss Supranational this year. Now, not all countries have crowned their queens, not by a long shot. I think um, only 40 something women have been crowned thus far. And the list for upcoming national pageants crowning their Miss Supranational representative for this year is this long. So there are still a lot of countries that have to crown, but I thought for this video, I'm so excited for Miss Supranational to just please come around, light up my life, that I want to talk about my top 10 early faves for the crown. So in no particular order, first of all, I have Brazil. Brazil is a much anticipated contestant for Miss Supranational this year, actually. Her name is Santler France, and she is 31 years old. She is one of the women coming around, you know, after Miss Supranational raised their age limit from, I think it was 29, up to 32 honestly i think it can be raised even more perhaps even up to 36 but sinclair is one of those ladies who you know she hasn't been competing in pageantry because she simply aged out but if you do recognize this gorgeous woman she was actually in the top six at miss world 2013 10 years ago when she was 21 so brazil definitely has a diamond on their hands this year at Miss Supranational and honestly I think Miss Universe is also probably going to be raising their age limit soon. I hope they also raise it up to mid 30s and um, I definitely think that just looking at this woman there's another woman on this list who's also in her 30s. You can just you can you can just tell that these women have so much to offer and so I'm so excited for Sinclair to be representing Brazil at Miss Supranational this year. Then we have Ecuador. Ecuador was the first runner-up at Miss Grand International 2021. Her name is Andrea Aguilera and she is 22 years old. Obviously having done so well at MGI, I'm curious to see whether or not she will do just as well at Miss Supranational. Then we have India. India's girl was in the top five at Femina Miss India 2022 and she was actually handpicked to go to Miss Supranational 2023. Her name is Pragnia Ayagari and she is 21. Now I've said this, I think this woman has a lot of potential. She definitely is a threat. She definitely is competition this year so look out for india then of course we have the gorgeous south africa you know the one coming for the back to back we have ayanda tabete who is 23 she was actually the first runner up at miss south africa 2022 the winner was supposed to go to miss supranational but for some reason that was not going to happen and they changed um Originally, I thought it had something to do with the fact that Miss World was going to be happening in May. But now that Miss World is postponed, Ndavi might as well have gone to Miss Supra. But I guess they already made plans to send Ayanda, which I don't mind. I like Ayanda. I'm excited to see how she's going to do and whether or not she'll get that back to back for South Africa. Then we have a very recently crowned queen. We have Thailand, Miss Patrapon Wang, who is 28 years old. Now, what's interesting about this goddess is that she was actually Miss Intercontinental 2014. Now, Miss Intercontinental is not necessarily a pageant that I am interested in. I don't really follow Miss Intercontinental. I, major, I only follow like the major six. You guys know this if you've been watching. But I still think it's quite impressive that she's already won an international pageant. 
Then we have to mention Colombia. Colombia is sending Valentina Mora, who is 25. Valentina was the first runner up at Senorita Colombia 2022. The Colombian women always slay. So I'm so excited to see how Colombia is going to do. Then I just had to add Germany. Germany is so beautiful. For me, this woman definitely has the it factor. Now, she doesn't have much of a pageant past, you know, nothing major to speak of, but I definitely feel the feelings that I got from some other major queens who didn't have any past either. Her name is Maria Ignat and she is 24 and I definitely think that we should be keeping an eye on this queen because to me, I don't know, she's just so magnetic. There's something that definitely clicks for me with this woman. Same with Slovakia. Oh my goodness, what a stunning woman. Oh my word, her name is Simona Leskovska and she is also 31 years old, just like St. Clair who we talked about at the very beginning. I am so glad that Miss Supranational raised their age limit because look at this woman. Is she not the most stunning thing you have ever seen? I'm so excited to see how Slovakia will perform at Miss Supranational this year. Then we have to mention Venezuela as well. They are sending Celine Delgado, who is 27. Venezuela, again, one of those countries who you just always have to keep an eye on. This girl in particular, or woman, I should rather say, I mean, she's 27. She is my senior. She was the fourth runner-up at Miss Venezuela 2021. So Miss Venezuela is a major pageant in Venezuela. So for her to be a fourth runner-up definitely tells me that there is something special about this girl. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for her. Last but not least, we definitely have to mention Peru. Peru allegedly postponed her own wedding in order to participate at Miss Supranational this year. I mean, if that's not dedication, then I do not know what is. Her name is Valeria Flores and she is 26 years old. Very excited to see Peru compete as well. I am so confident in my top 10 favorite list thus far. And I am just even more excited to see the other countries crown their queens to see what other amazing women we are going to get. I can just tell already, just looking at my list, that it's going to be a bloodbath at Miss Supranational this year. But I love for it. I love for bloodbaths, okay? I would rather any day have too many amazing wow queens at a pageant to entertain us all with their amazing walks and gowns and everything so let me know who you guys' favorites are that is my list of top 10 i would love to know you guys's and obviously i will be updating when the other countries crown their queens as well perhaps in a few weeks perhaps in a month's time i will be putting out this video again but just update it a little bit if say puerto rico happens to crown the most amazing contestant ever so obviously let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye